This tutorial describes the steps required to properly set up its your plane, also known as IYP, on Vista, Windows 7 and Windows 8 platforms. We will assume that you have already installed the Microsoft Flight Simulator 10, also known as FSX. To start, launch FSX, select the Microsoft default Cessna Skyhawk C172SP and park it on any runway, gate, or ramp. There are a number of menu options that you need to ensure are properly set. Incidentally, you can pause this video while you launch and prepare the simulator. Press the Alt key to expose the FSX menu bar, then click on Views. Alternatively, you can simply press Alt plus the V key. This will bring up the Views option area. Ensure that the simulator is running in the windowed mode by removing the check mark beside the option at the top and titled Full Screen. You can also toggle this mode by simply pressing Alt plus the Enter key. Next, we need to ensure that the simulator does not go into the pause mode when you change views on your PC. Press the Alt key to expose the FSX menu bar, then click on Options. From the Options menu, select Settings followed by General. Alternatively, you can simply press Alt plus the O, E, and G keys. This will pop up the General Options window. Ensure that the check mark is removed beside the option entitled Pause on Task Switch. Ensure that the three items under the air traffic control have a check mark. We will now adjust the various sound sources to be in balance with the text-to-speech audio coming from your co-pilot. Press the Alt key to expose the FSX menu bar, then click on Options. From the Options menu, select Settings followed by Sound. Alternatively, you can simply press Alt plus the O, E, and S keys. This will pop up the sound window. Ensure that all of the sound sources are selected on the left side. As a starting point, we suggest setting the voice level to 100 and all others to a level of approximately 25. You may alter these settings based upon the aircraft being flown. In order to install IYP on your system, you first need to install FSUIP C4 on FSX. You do not require the registered version of FSUIP C4, however it is recommended. For instructions on downloading and installing FSUIP C4, please go to Pete Dowson's site. If FSUIP C4 is properly installed, you will see FSUIP C listed under the add-ons menu item. IYP uses Microsoft's relatively new and exciting deployment mechanism called ClickOnce. Unless you use Internet Explorer, we suggest that you check to ensure that your browser has the required plugin to properly handle ClickOnce. Before you install IYP, there are a number of folders that need to have their sharing and security settings properly set so that the It's Your Plane application can access files and items under these folders. Instructions on how to set the sharing and security for these folders is put forth in great detail on our website under the heading entitled Important on the left side menu. The following is important information. The use of a high-quality microphone headset is required in order to get the best results from the Microsoft Speech Recognition System. Now you need to verify the settings of the Speech Recognition and Text-to-Speech Systems. Ensure that you select English US for the Speech Recognition System. Please go to this Microsoft web page for instructions on provisioning the Microsoft Text-to-Speech and Speech Recognition Systems. Note, the link shown below, needs to be typed into the location bar of your browser as a single line of text. Some Windows 8 users may not have the English US language pack available in the speech recognition list. You can download and install the pack by going here. Note, the link shown below needs to be typed into the location bar of your browser as a single line of text. We strongly recommend that you avoid the use of loudspeakers. This will prevent FSX audio from getting fed back into the microphone. 
we also strongly recommend that you adjust the microphone level down. The Microsoft speech recognition system is extremely sensitive. Excessive microphone gain will cause all kinds of problems. Finally, we recommend that you conduct a minimum of two voice training sessions. Typically, this will get the accuracy of the speech recognition to approximately 95%. We have three more suggestions to make. The It's Your Plane user manuals are loaded with tons of extremely valuable information. You can download the manuals by going to our website and clicking on Resources, located on the left side menu bar. In the IYP Flight Deck Doc Manual, the first item describes how to properly create, save, and load a flight plan in flight so that IYP will operate properly. This is an important read. On the It's Your Plane website, there is a link on the right side menu entitled Quick Start Flights. Conducting these flights is the fastest way to familiarize yourself with the operation of IYP and how to communicate with your co-pilot. If you require any assistance, please visit our support forum. Thank you for watching.